This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 218. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 2 Supplemental Problems on page 17. Given this circuit, if we were to apply a 2 amp source, could you figure out the voltage V? Well, to do that, we have to find the resistance seen between these two terminals and then multiply that by 2 amps. If you look at the elements here, I have nothing in parallel and nothing in series. To be in series, you have to have the same current. So these are not in series. These are not in parallel. I've got this node right here. But I do have a Y inside here. So I could do a Y to delta conversion and convert this into a resistance between here, between here and here, and between here and here. So let's redraw this Y, 20 ohms, 40 ohms, and 80 ohms. I'm going to call this node A, B, and C. Then my delta is between A and B, a and C, and B and C. The resistor R sub A in my delta is across from node A. The resistor R sub B is across from node B. And the resistor R sub C is across from node C. Recall from the notes, the value of R sub A is taking the resistors in the Y two at a time, multiplying them together, and then adding the results with every other combination of two. So here I've got 20 times 80 plus 20 times 40 plus 40 times 80. Those would be the combinations of the resistances taken two at a time. And then we divide by the resistor that's across from R sub A. That would be the 20 ohms. That turns out to be 280 ohms. For R sub B, we have the same numerator, but a different denominator. For R sub B would be dividing by 40. And then for R sub C, we'd be dividing by 80. That gives us 140 and 70 ohms. Now let's redraw that delta in place of our y. Here's my r sub c. Here's my r sub b. I kind of stretched it from here over to here. Here's my r sub a. I stretched it from here back over to here. A little bit easier to see that these two are in parallel, these two are in parallel, and these two are in parallel. So let's put these two together. It'd be the product over the sum. So 280 times 40 over 280 plus 40 turns out to be 35 ohms. 70 in parallel with 70 is just half of 70 or 35. So I put these two in series, and they turn out to be 35 plus 35, or 70. Then in parallel with 70 is 35. Okay, so now I have an equivalent resistance looking back into that circuit of 35 ohms. The voltage that's across this current source is also the voltage across the 35 ohms, and that's going to be 2 amps times 35 ohms, or 70 volts. And this is supplemental problem 218.